What's up, guys? Max and Maxworks here. And uh, firstly, let me apologize for the dub over. I had technical issues when I did the writing review, and then the bike was no longer available to me to do a second recording. So I'm having to record this at home <clears throat> and dub it over the video. So today we're going to be reviewing this 2001 uh, Kawasaki Concourse. It is a 999cc uh, bike. Um, and it's a it's a big cruiser sport touring bike. It was really advertised as more of a sport touring bike, and uh, we can just basically just jump into you know how it is to ride and, and the general review. So let's start with the outside. This is not what I would consider a handsome bike, um, even though this particular model is a 2001 and this model was carried on through 2006. It looks very 1985, um, and the only exception to that is I think this has beautiful wheels. The wheels are intricately designed. I think they work really well. I think they'd look beautiful on any number of bikes. Um, and they're a uh, 16 in the rear, 18 in the front, standard sport touring sizes. Um, and, you know, the tires are, are, are well designed for the, for the bike. But it just the, – that big front – headlight just gives it a very 1985 Miami Vice type look and I just don't think it's very attractive by today's standards. Moving on uh, to the engine, right? So the engine is 997cc, uh, four-stroke liquid-cooled engine. I'm sure it traces its lines back to like an old ZX-10R or 9R engine. Um, it makes about 75 horsepower. Um, and about the same pound feet of torque. So it's not a particularly uh, high strung engine. Uh, when I'm riding this around, if you watch the tack, you'll see it very rarely sleeps, sweeps past 6,000. Um, it probably has cams that boost mid range torque, but they tend to kill the top end a little bit. And so this is definitely not a, a rev out kind of bike. And, and it's pretty heavy. It's, uh, it's got a dry weight of just under 600 pounds, which means wet. It's probably in the low 600s, which puts it at a uh, pretty, pretty heavy bike uh, territory. Um, moving on uh, to the ergonomics. Um, my feet were a little bit tight on the bike, but not uncomfortable. It's definitely a very upright riding position. And for such a big bike, you don't have quite as much space as you would think you do. But uh, at the same time, it's not uncomfortable. It's, it's, really, uh, it's really a good seating position, especially considering the generation of bike and the people that it was designed for. Um, so moving forward, let's talk about uh, the brakes. The brakes are really kind of a highlight. You've got two 300 mil rotors in the front. You've got a single big rotor in the back. You got a whole bunch of uh, piston calipers, uh, caliper pistons. And, um, you know, it, it has really good braking force. It's definitely kind of a sports bike derived braking force. It's got a decent master cylinder. Um, definitely not the best, but the clutch uh, is pretty heavy for a hydraulic clutch, but uh, it, it has a very, very good, strong, positive feeling. You can definitely feel when the clutch engages. It's very linear. Furthermore, in ergonomics, the shifter is a notchy and it's very, it has a lot of resistance to it. Um, but at the same time, it, it has a good feel. So uh, perhaps it's not quite as snick snick as you'd want it, but it, it works really well with the bike. Now this bike that I'm riding on is Nocturne Blue. It's an absolutely beautiful color and the paint on this bike is flawless. Speaking of things that aren't flawless, the front suspension, you've got 41 millimeter um, regular uh, standard forks. Um, now these forks have about 60,000 miles on them and maybe have never been rebuilt, but it is just wet noodle city up front. And uh, the bike has this weird ability to just both float and not float. So like heavy, heavy bumps are, are a bit jarring, but it floats over the road and not in a good way. Um, you really uh, don't feel that connected to the road, and especially when you're traveling at speed, 65, 70, 75 miles an hour down the highway, um, you don't get that positive feedback from the bike, and, it, and it's a little bit unnerving, at least to me. But the flip side of that is it's a very good, comfortable bike. Somebody put 60,000 miles on this particular example, um, which means it's well-ridden uh, all over the place. And it wasn't so much that the bike doesn't have good features. It's just it's, it's really kind of a blah blah kind of bike um 
there are a lot of good features uh, like like it has a standard oil cooler um, which is nice to see on a bike like this it helps keep the temperature down um, it's shaft drive which is also nice to see on a sport touring bike it means it's quiet doesn't need adjustment puts power down very linearly You've got a six-speed transmission, um, pulls really well in gear. The gears themselves are well spaced out. It's not what I would call a close ratio box, but uh, it's it's really, really pretty uh, pretty well spaced. And sixth gear on the highway, doing about 70 miles an hour, comes out to about 4,000 RPM, um, which, which isn't really uh, too, too bad. But I did notice that at least my specific example um, was definitely buzzy. Is definitely not a, a super smooth four-cylinder bike. Basically, to kind of summarize uh, this bike for me, I, I really wanted to love it, even though it's a little bit of an ugly duckling. I really wanted to get on it and love it and ride the crap out of it. But I put about about 70 to 100 miles on it, and the front end, the float, is just unnerving. I mean, it's already braced. It's not so much that it dives under braking. It's just when you're going down the road, there's not a real positive feel of engagement. And I checked all of the likely called parts. I checked the forks. I made sure that all of the bolts were tight. I checked the tires. The tires are relatively new and have a lot of good tread on them. They're good Michelin tires. So there's no reason to suspect that there's anything wrong with the front tire. Um, it's just not a real confidence-inspiring bike. And for a 2001, it's got a lot of features that, that look like they came straight out of the 80s. And the Kawasaki build quality is okay. Um, Kawasaki is definitely my least favorite of the big four Asian brands in terms of build quality. But um, it's definitely acceptable. Is this a bad bike? No. Is this a bike that I would you know, recommend someone never buy? Absolutely not. But this is kind of an old man bike. It doesn't do anything particularly well. It doesn't have um, you know, a real firm riding position where, where you feel safe and comfortable on it. It feels like the most generic, generic motorcycle that you can come up with. And it just doesn't have any other redeeming features, in my opinion. So if I had to grade it, I would give it maybe, maybe a 4 out of 10. It doesn't really hit any specific marker, and I think that there are better options available at similar price points, so it's not really winning in the dollar game either. It does have a lot of luggage. The luggage is really usable. Um, the bike itself doesn't have any major design flaws other than the fact that it's a pretty blah bike. Um, but in the end, I, I, I can't say that this is something I'd want to keep any longer than I absolutely had to. So that said, I'm Max. This is MaxWorks. Uh, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Uh, if you want to tell me how much of an idiot I am, leave me a comment down below or about how your Connie is the best bike in the world because you own it. Um, I love hearing back from people uh, that, that want to criticize and critique my feedback. Uh, it helps me kind of develop um, uh, a better approach to making sure I get that information out there because I don't want to be just spitting facts at you guys. Um, if you like this version where it's dubbed over after the fact rather than done live, um, leave me a comment down below and let me know about that. Or if you guys absolutely hate this, then, then I'm going to go back to doing the live videos. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy this video. Peace.